traffic congestion in San Diego County can turn what used to be a short trip into a long ordeal. There are as many solutions to the problem as there are lanes on a freeway, but not for long. Caltrans is moving ahead with plans to widen Interstate 5 over a 30-mile stretch from La Jolla to Oceanside. The first in a series of meetings was held this week to gather public input for the project. Joining me now to explain the details is KPBS senior metro reporter Allison St. John. Allison, why is Caltrans saying that I-5 needs to be expanded? Well, Gloria, the road was built 40 years ago when there were fewer than 50,000 cars on it, and now there's like 250,000 every day. And by 2030, they're predicting another 50,000 are going to be driving down it. So in terms of time, it's like a 25-minute drive. But if they do nothing, it will turn into an 80-minute drive by 2030. And if they do this plan, it'll still expand to like a 40-minute drive. 25 minutes from La Jolla to Oceanside? Mm-hmm. Um, I've never made it that quickly, honestly. Well, that says a lot for the traffic. Absolutely. So what are the plans that are being considered? So there are four options, and um, either you can do nothing, of course, or there are four options of ways of expanding it. Right now, there's like four or five lanes in each direction, but the plan is all of them, as you can see from this chart, have two extra lanes in the middle on each side, which makes four extra lanes in the middle of the freeway, which would be for rapid transit buses and uh, carpooling and for single occupancy vehicles if they paid a fee. Now the thing that distinguishes the four different options is that you can see there's, a bar there's an option of a barrier between those four uh, middle lanes and the other general purpose lanes or you could just put double yellow lines to divide them and then the bottom two options have actually an extra general purpose lane on each side so it would turn four lane into five lane uh, or five into six lanes. Okay, so I would assume that it would even be wider with a barrier than with the buffer. The barrier option would definitely take up more space, that's correct. What about the, 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 the scenic views that you have as you drive from La Jolla to Oceanside or back? Well, this will definitely change the experience of driving up or down I-5. At the moment, you can see trees, you can see greenery on either side, you can sometimes even see the ocean. There will be a lot of very high wall sound barriers on, on each side of these roads, very similar to many of the freeways in L.A. Uh-huh. Well, I guess uh, Los Angelesization is creeping up. This is coming our way. Uh, what, why does Caltrans want public input on, on what do they want? Well, the public input really is which of these four options. Um, it, it, it looks like it's pretty definite. They're going to need to expand I-5 one way or the other. The question is, which of these four options does the public want to choose? And who's going to make that final decision? It'll be Caltrans and Federal Highways. So uh, have any objections come forth thus far to the expansion? There are many people who are concerned about things. Some people say that there should be more public transit. Many people are concerned about the fact that we're trying to cut down on carbon emissions, and this doesn't seem to be the way to go about it. Um, there's environmental concerns because it's crossing six lagoons, and some people will have their homes or businesses taken away through eminent domain to make space for this road. How are these concerns going to be dealt with? There's. Um, Mitigation has not yet been finalized. The California Coastal Commission, for example, says that once they've picked an option, then they will actually start working more seriously on mitigation and different ways of making up for the environmental impacts. So they're talking about doing more, putting more money into restoration for the lagoons. That could be very good for some of the lagoons along the, the coast there. Um, there's ideas of having, like, under the freeway uh, public walkways which weren't there before so you might actually be able to cross the lagoons under the freeway which you couldn't before so there are various ideas of of adding benefits to the community to make up for this so it's kind of important that people attend some of the public meetings if they feel involved and we'll have to watch and see when those meetings are coming up thanks there so much Allison St. John thank you